All right. This one says, the biggest thing for me after 3.5 years was that you look forward to the next day. You look forward to connecting with people. You sleep when you want to. All the little things that used to bother you are like meh. And you can just do things without feeling as much anxiety as you did before. You may still have anxiety in reaction to what would normally make a person anxious, but it doesn't bother you. You may even still overthink, but the anxious feeling just blows past you like a gnat in the wind. You do return to a baseline after a certain point, but you can go into anything knowing that you have an edge. It's almost as if you have an edge over a world that's constantly trying to bring you down, but the fact that you can resist is empowering and makes you feel confident, naturally. And yes, as others have claimed, it cleanses the mind of sexualizing and it brings out the natural kid in you. Other people make you feel happier and you just enjoy them as they are and yourself as you are. Beautiful comment by this person. Shout out to them. Um, that's crazy. Let's start off by saying, you know, that's pretty crazy. Three and a half years on SR. Um, like I said, it's a lifestyle, so... That's that's a huge accomplishment. I don't know if that's a streak or if that's on and off, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was a three and a half year streak because, you know, like I said, it just becomes a lifestyle. So whatever the case is, you do start looking forward to the next day, man. Like life just starts feeling a lot more exciting in everything that you do. He also mentioned that, you know, the little things won't bother you as much. You know, you would just be like, meh. And yeah, man, I could relate to this, bro. Like a lot of things used to bother me before I went on this journey. Um, You know, little petty things, bro. Whether that's people or just situations or things like that. Like things would get on my nerves a lot more. I was more reactive to like petty things. But retention makes you very stoic as a man and... A lot of things is just not going to bother you as they would back then. You know, you become very centered, very emotionally intelligent, which is great, man, because you have power over yourself, right? You don't let anybody BS energy, you know, bring you down. Um, it definitely helps with like mental problems. Like if you have uh, anxiety or depression or whatever, this practicing this, bro, could help you significantly all right like i don't feel anxious when when i'm doing things anymore um he also mentioned that it's like you have an edge over a world that is constantly trying to bring you down bro for real it's like <laughs> when you're retaining you feel like like a glitch in the matrix you know because the majority of people they aren't practicing this you know they this Society, they want men to be in a constant relapse cycle. You know, they want them to be a slave to their lust. They want them to, you know, throw all this pr promiscuity to make to make them weak, right? Because if a person is constantly engaged in this, all this lustful stuff, man, they're never going to reach their full potential. All right. So when you when you're retaining, bro, it's like you're you're above like all this control. You know, all this like sexualized content being weaponized against you. You know, your sexual energy is basically being used against you by these companies. All right. To make you weak. So when you hold on to that power and you start focusing that energy in other areas. Yeah, it's going to make you feel really, really powerful as a man because you have control over that. You don't let these companies have control over your energy and emotions. So, um, yeah, you do definitely feel happier. And uh, he also mentioned it brings out the kid in you. I always mention this in my video. Like, you just start feeling like a kid again. And, you know, when you have interactions with people that have good energy, you're just going to be happy to be around them, right? Like, like the thing is that you become, um, how would you say, like, you become more alive on this journey. You definitely become more alive because the thing about the hub is that it desensitizes you, 
OK, it desensitizes.